Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. That's really weird to say. I haven't filmed in such a long time. I kind of wanted to start with a kind of reading vlog. I've, in the past, I want to say maybe week or two, I've got back into reading a little bit. So I kind of wanted to start doing like a reading vlog this week. Today is Monday. I have read, let me count, I have read, so 148 in one book and 13 in another. So the book that I've kind of read most of today is Harry Potter and the Prisoner, Prisoner of Azkaban. Actually, hang on a sec. I've read more than that today. So before I'd started um, The Prisoner of Azkaban, I finished The Chamber of Secrets. So I calculated it based off of when I remember um, like picking it up again. And I have read 190 pages of this book. I should probably keep running total so first of all i've been i've decided to reread the harry potter series um i can't remember what book i read first to get back into reading let me go look at my goodreads i read a, the harbour house which was a shorter book um that kind of started it but what kind of got me reading a bit more was when I read Code with, by Kathy Rikes, um, which is part of the viral series. Um, so I just kind of started reading more from there. Um, and then I thought, actually, then I kind of got into a like Harry Potter mood. I was talking to someone, like I'd asked them what their favorite Harry Potter like was, and they said, like they gave a movie option like a movie answer and a book answer um and that kind of got me to thinking of actually i don't really remember the book so much because i read them back when i was like 13. so i decided to reread them i read the philosopher's stone all in one day um but yeah i've just been rereading those because i've got them so i might as well um but yeah and then the other book that I've been kind of slowly working my way through is To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paulini or Paulini. I can't remember how, I don't know what, how to pronounce his surname. I first came across him with his Inheritance Cycle series. I read them back when I was like 11, um, so primary school, like year six. Um, yeah so i read all four of those books back in primary school i also own them i absolutely love them and this is kind of his first i guess major book to come out and even though it's a sci-fi so his other books were fantasy i thought i haven't read sci-fi i enjoyed his other books so i thought i'd give it a go it's an absolute chunky book um I got it for Christmas last year because there was no way I was spending my money on that. Um, so yeah, there's about 826 pages. I'm currently on, like, I've read 110 pages. So I'm actually not that much, I'm, I'm not actually that far way through the book in terms of percentage, but it's a chunky book. And part of me would prefer not to take it back to uni with me just because it's so much weight, so much space. Um, so I would prefer to leave it here or like finish it. Yeah, which will be in like two weeks or just under two weeks. So that should be enough time. So like if I was to read like 50 pages like a day to like speed through it, but because it was so late I didn't read that many pages of it tonight um 
but it did get interesting like I go through the odd moment of slight lull of like reading it but there are definitely interesting moments like I don't fully understand like the sci-fi um just kind of in general so it's definitely interesting I don't know whether I'd go so this is quite like I want to say like obviously there's like a lot of world building for him he um, he has like names of stuff which I don't think are like real things um so it's definitely I guess a lot to grip my mind around I think if I was to go for um another sci-fi I maybe wouldn't go for something so like scientific I know that sounds really bad because obviously it's science fiction but I think I'd go for something where they hadn't made stuff up as much apart from the very odd thing like the, and even though I still wouldn't kind of understand it it would be in some ways easier to understand I don't think this is like young adults so for me young adults would be like 16 and up um I think this is definitely more of like an adult book um so I think I'd probably try and read something more YA but I am enjoying it it's just it's hefty I think I'd have preferred it to have been around the 500 600 page mark but when you're coming for like just over 800 it is a little bit much and I am wondering like reading this with only being 110 pages in how much left could there be like I obviously understand there's going to be like side plots and like twists but it's like how much else could you fit into like 700 pages um so yeah that's kind of what I've read at the moment so did I say the amount of pages I'd read today I don't think I did so yeah I've read 351 pages so far today obviously that for a lot of people just accounts to one whole book but yeah I would like to also preface this by saying I don't always read that many pages like I, yesterday I don't think I read that much um I'm like yeah I don't think I read that much so yeah I definitely go through days where I read more than others but and like I used to be an avid reader when I was like from like primary school till I want to say maybe 15 um and then I kind of just stopped reading it could just be because that's kind of when the major like GCSE period started so guys we are joined again from this absolutely favorite spot not um so I think from count so I read 70 pages of this I realized I haven't like summarized stuff basically for anyone who for whatever reason doesn't know Harry Potter most people do a character called Sirius Black has escaped from a high security wizard prison and is like presumed to be after the kind of main character Harry that's kind of what I, it is I've read 70 pages um today or like I think it, yeah I think it is 70 or like 69 um so I don't think I've read as much my kind of main goal was to start was to read to kind of focus on this one so yeah I don't know whether I mentioned but this was a kind of first greetings with um, like aliens so I started on 111 I read 178 I basically read 78 pages so that's what 
147, I believe. So yeah, I've only read 147 pages. Obviously, pages of this are longer. I, like, the text isn't, like, small. But obviously, it's the actual size of the book um, makes it so that it's longer. Um, I think I'm about to get to the point where they try to start to try to resolve the earlier issue that's kind of happened in the book to do with this like first contact and all like the consequences that have happened from that um yeah it's kind of coming to a point in the book where the protagonist starts to try to help others that have been kind of affected based off of what's happened and try to reverse some of the things that have happened to her physically and because it's kind of seen that in her mind currently she's kind of like the only hope based off of the changes that she's been through so far in this book so obviously like I said I'd read 78 pages which means i'm now yeah like i said i've read 178 which is less than a quarter of the book um probably 20 percent maybe um so about a fifth ish um i haven't updated my progress in goodreads um yeah currently as i'm reading it i know i'm only a fifth of the way through but currently for me to sleep in a sea of stars it's kind of feeling like it's going to end up being a four star read could even be a three and a half but not because of the actual content just because it's a chunky book and sometimes it does feel like there's a bit too much detail and like a bit too much description which in some ways isn't a good thing because obviously it's world building and it does mean that if the author wanted to he could build upon this kind of universe and add more to it because he's now set up how everything is just like how probably like he probably did it in Aragon which is the first in the inheritance cycle so he probably did it in that book so however because I read it so long ago and I haven't read reread it so it's been like a decade um which I know ugh, decade um so it just feels a bit much because to be fair i own the paperbacks of the inheritance cycle and i think even though there's probably this amount of pages it's like a slightly smaller size so actually technically it ends up being a little bit less so i guess that's probably what christopher does is like he builds up like the universe and i could see him doing like something else um after this book because obviously he set up this character and how she is and very well set up for like if he wants there to be future like conflict whether that be human conflict alien conflict or just yeah just conflict he's easily set up this character to be a heroine in future books so i could see that happening i know that he has not long come out with a book that follows on from the inheritance cycle um it's not directly as a sequel but it also is because it's in the same world but it's not from the viewpoint of aragon um like his four books are uh, like the four books in the inheritance cycle are they're actually from murtag which i believe i'm pronouncing it correct um it's kind of like from his point of view and i think it's like set a year after aragon leaves allegasia i think that's how you pronounce it i'm yeah so i will definitely read that book when it comes out in paperback. I'm not a hardback book. 
I wanted to read the paper, the hardback book of this just because I didn't know when the paperback was planned to be released and I wanted to read it. Um, but I think Murtagh has a planned paperback release date so definitely going to look into getting it when it comes out because you know what I kind of want to get into the Allegasia um, kind of world again but I think before I do that I'll have to reread the whole inheritance cycle just so that then I get back into the world I remember stuff obviously if I was to reread it if I was to read it without having reread I'd probably still remember a lot of stuff but obviously if you've reread it first things are still like fresh in your mind and yeah so that's my kind of current plan part of me wants to say that Murtagh comes out paperback like early next year but I could be wrong I can't check on my iPad because that is a judge um so I definitely want to check when yeah when my target's out so yeah I read did I say 147 I believe I did um which is still a nice size amount um but yeah originally my goal was just to get through a lot of to sleep in the sea of to sleep in a sea of stars but then Harry Potter probably took me a slightly shorter amount of time for a similar amount of words but I think it's just because it's a slightly easier read it's less wordy whereas like I said yesterday this just feels more adult so I think that's why Harry Potter is just easier to read I thought I had before filming this is after I finished To Sleep in a Sea of Stars I'm definitely gonna go on to like a romance just because obviously I've got sci-fi and I've got fantasy they're both very like world buildy and in some ways in my mind they're very similar um obviously I know they're not but they kind of are I just I feel like my next read needs to be an easier read it's nice to get back into reading in some ways it's weird but you know it's nice so i'm currently in the middle of the editing process and it turns out that i didn't first of all i didn't film the rest of the week like i filmed monday tuesday and then it was like clearly i wasn't filming much more um i looked at my goodreads and turns out first of all my prediction of 20 percent was correct i it was only as I was editing this that I actually went through and it was like, um, I didn't even, even update that. So first of all, I didn't finish to sleep in a sea of stars. I ended up going back to my nana's slightly earlier and I just didn't have time. Um, I did finish Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I think I had that same week I started Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Still haven't finished that. I went through a whole process of like, just moving and unpacking and I've got back into reading again like I went through a very small like two week period where I didn't basically read um but yeah so I didn't really mean read much more that week um so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next reading vlog